Hey y'all, so uh, for this video, we're going to go through a few of the problems for uh, volume today. Um, I'm going to do one of each of them. I'm going to do one of the cylinder ones, I'm going to do one of the cones, and I'm going to do one of the spheres. Now, I know in the notes, the cone one was a hard one, where we it gave us like that slant height, and we actually had to use Pythagorean theorem to solve for the vertical height. Good news is none of these in here are like that. They all just give you the vertical height. So I'll do an example like that. It'll show you uh, how to do it like the straightforward way, but we don't have to use the Pythagorean theorem at all. All right. So first of all, I'll give you one of the cones. Notice here, for what it's worth, it says use 3.14 for pi. So whenever you're using pi in the formula, just multiply by 3.14 rather than actually putting the pi key. Um, as far as tests, it's it's either going to very clearly say, and if it doesn't clearly say, I will tell you. So don't worry about that. It won't be a confusion on the tests. For purposes of this worksheet, it says to use 3.14. So just use 3.14. I type in 3.14 on the calculator rather than uh, using the pi button. All right. So first of all, we got for a cylinder, number one. So we got volume of a cylinder is pi times the radius squared times the height. All right. So pi, it says use 3.14. Remember the radius. That's the, the little radius in that bottom circle down there. So the 2. So times 2 squared times the height, which is 9. And again, if you want, you could just notice, well, 2 squared, remember squaring a number, you're just multiplying by itself, right? So that's 2 times 2. So we could go ahead and change that to a 4 because 2 squared is equal to 4. And then we could go ahead and multiply it on the calculator. Also, you could multiply it, um, you could just multiply it from here as well. You don't have to change it to a four. It's just a matter of if you would rather do a, do that part by hand or punch the whole thing and do your calculator. It's a total personal preference thing. Order does not matter here. Anyways, once you go ahead and punch all that in, it is going to give you an answer of 113.04. And again, don't forget your units. And whenever we're talking about volume, the units are going to be cubed. So you got that little cube, the little three up there, up in the exponent. All right. So that's how you do the cylinder. So it's like number one, number two, oops, uh, number one, number two, number three. Uh, those are your cylinders. All right. Let's check out a cone. Let's do number four here. So volume of the cone, if you remember from the last video, you got pi r squared times the height, but we're going to divide it by 3. Well, guess what? This time they actually gave us the height, right? They gave us that vertical height. They didn't give us the slant height along the edge that we have to use Pythagorean theorem. They actually gave us the height we want to use. So we can plug that straight into the formula. Pi is 3.14. The radius. Ooh, okay. This one's actually important. It looks like this, they, what they're saying, they didn't give us the radius. They gave us the diameter here. Look at that. They gave us that distance all the way across is four. Remember, the radius is only halfway across. So the radius is actually going to be two. Now, number six, notice, if you're looking at number six down here, this would be the radius. So we're not cutting it in half. That's what you got to be aware of. That's like that critical thinking step. Notice, what are they giving you and what do you need, right? And number four, they gave us the diameter. They gave us all the way across, and we only wanted halfway. So you got to cut that in half. So the radius, like this little half of it, is only going to be two, specifically two meters. All right. So our radius is two, and then our height, this guy right here, is six. And don't forget to divide it by three. And all that's going to go into the calculator. So 3.14 times two squared times six and you're going to divide by 3. And that is going to give you 25.12, and don't forget your units, meters cubed. All right, so number 4, number 6, and number 7, those are your cones. So it's going to be like the same type of thing. And then 5, 8, 9, and 10, those are all your spheres. So we're going to do one of those. I'll do number 5 here. So volume of a sphere, again, is 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed and we'll just go ahead straight plug everything in four thirds times pi again pi is 3.14 times the radius cubed 
Notice, though, again, they didn't give us the radius here, right? Radius is halfway across. What they gave us is the diameter all the way across that circle, right? Look right here. This is going all the way across. So to get the radius, right, the radius, we really only want, we only want half of that. So we would cut 13.6 in half. You can divide it by two on your calculators if you want, and it's going to give you 6.8. So half of that is 6.8. So when we're doing our multiplication step, that radius cubed, that's going to be 6.8 cubed. And as always, punch all that into your calculator. Give me one second. I pushed the wrong button. I need to do this again. I want to make sure that um, I give you all an answer so you can follow along. So we got 4 thirds times 3.14 times the radius cubed and that is going to give you an answer of uh we're rounding to the nearest hundredth yes round to the nearest hundredth so again that's two decimal places so that's going to be 1316 we could say about use a little squiggly lines because it's not exact here 0.42 and then don't forget your units that is feet cubed and there you go. That's how you do it for a sphere. So that's like number five, number eight, number nine, and number 10 are going to be just like that. All right. And again, you got to be mindful. Like, what are they giving you, right? Like here, they give you the diameter. So you cut it in half. But number nine, they just give you the radius. So we don't need to cut that in half when we're um, setting it up using that volume formula. So just be aware of that. And again, if you have questions, please reach out to me. I'm on my phone all the time. I will respond fast and I'm happy to help. All right. Good luck.